This video will demonstrate how to use the Osman Maps and Navigation app to preview routes before you take them, as well as analyze GPS tracks after you've made the trip. My emphasis is on hiking, but the same techniques apply to bicycling and other modes of transport. These features were introduced in the Android version of Osmond, version 2.6. They include the ability to show elevation and slope profiles, as well as other stats. These were much requested features, and I think their addition is the last big step toward Osmond becoming a full function navigation tool for outdoor use. To preview a route, you just need two things, an Osmond map of the area and a route. Let's start with a simple case. I'm at a trailhead and I want to climb to the top of a hill. I mark it as a destination and press the directions button. To get details of the route, I press, and this is not obvious, here. What we get on one screen is a succinct summary of the route. It shows the approximate distance and a rather optimistic estimate of the travel time. It also shows the average altitude, high and low altitudes, the vertical distance up and the vertical distance down. There's a blue graph showing the elevation profile expressed here in feet, and a green graph showing the slope expressed as a percentage, with 0% being flat and 90% being a wall. Negative slopes indicate downhill. The directions and distances for the route are at the bottom. You can also correlate the elevation and pitch graphs with the map by pressing here. In the settings, I can switch between miles and feet and meters and kilometers. I can also see what this hike would look like as a round trip, going down the mountain as well as up. To do that, I mark a subsequent destination at the starting point. Here's a preview of the complete hike. As you'd expect, the altitude decreases and the slope is negative when you head downhill, and the ascent and descent are nearly identical. Once you get underway, you can refresh this view at any time. For example, here's what the route looks like once I've reached the top. If you've recorded a GPX, as I have here, you can also use Osman to analyze it. To do that, you locate the GPX in the My Places menu. Pressing on it brings up this screen. The screen presents three views of the data an overview with distance and time data, an altitude view, and a speed view. Pressing here gives you more graph options. I can also change the x-axis from distance to time. Note the rightward shift, showing that it took me longer to walk up than to walk down. There are a couple of other options here. 
You can change the color of the GPX. And you can show distance intervals. So how do the preview numbers compare with the recorded ones? The distance was slightly underestimated. That's usually the case because the mapping data doesn't reflect every twist and turn of the route. The time estimate assumes you are traveling at a speed of 5 kilometers or 3 miles an hour with no allowance for elevation or stops. The elevation forecast at the peak is pretty close. We can see these tendencies more clearly by looking at the trail up California's Mount Whitney. This is about an 11 mile hike, but the 9.9 .9 mile estimate is pretty good considering the trail has almost 100 switchbacks. The time estimate is calculated the same as before, about 3 miles or 5 kilometers an hour, with no concession for elevation gain. And the elevation estimate for the top is pretty close about 40 feet off. I calculated this hike for my home. To do that, I marked the beginning of the trip using the menu item Directions From. I then marked the destination. This is the climber's route. To route along the trail, I just add an intermediate destination. Here are some other examples.